There was no jobs during the Depression, so I joined the Navy. I didn't know at that time that I'd never see my father again. <laughs> One morning, it was in December 1940, I looked at the bulletin board that my name was on it. Report to the destroyer base in San Diego for the transportation to Guam. I'd never heard of Guam. December the 7th, Guam time, it was Pearl Harbor. Dr. Van Peelen comes in there and he said, Pearl Harbor's just been bombed. And he said, they're bombing the Marine Air Base right now in Guam. And he told me, he said, I want you for the instrument nurse. In the afternoon, they sank one of the ships in the harbor. They were patients with machine guns in the water, so we had terrible patients. He said, you're still doing a good job. I said, I got bad news for you. He said, the Japanese are all over the island. He said, this time in the morning, you will either be dead or a prisoner of war. Well, since I'm still alive, I became a prisoner of war. I knew that I was going to be dead in a few minutes. And uh, I was scared. And I was thinking, uh, my mother, father, they don't even know how I died. Back in 1944, that's when I almost died of that lung infection. Our camp was destroyed. Only thing I had left was a spoon and a toothbrush. We were awakened about 5.30 or 6. And no matter how fast you fell out, the last 10% or so were beaten across the back with cane. It didn't matter. All they wanted to do was have somebody they could beat up on. It was a poor camp. People were dying two or three a week. I have a lot to be thankful for. When, when, when you're alive and everybody else is dead, uh, I can't appreciate that.